Uganda Revenue Authority says it will not entertain further extension of the electronic fiscal receipting and invoicing system which seeks to maximize tax assessments at points of sale. Mid-September, over 3,000 were issuing the electronic invoices. When the announcement came through, they started reducing significantly to 1,890 in mid-October. Uh, 793 in November, okay, 673 early in December. Of course, there are still uh, some hard anticipation that uh, the URA might extend. But now that uh, the, the position is still the same for 1st ja January, most likely you are going to see now the curve going back up. Business owners and organizations have been jittery over the e-receipting and invoicing system initiated by the tax authority this financial year, arguing that it will be an additional expense on their operations. So I would request URA to push this a little bit further, probably by six months, during which time SME should be educated thoroughly about the implications of the e-receipting system. In this way, it will ensure compliance. What we don't want is to have a system that is full of where SMEs are deporting and other businesses are falling on the wrong side of the law. URA's Assistant Commissioner Process Management under Domestic Taxes, James O'Dong, says the new application is being made much easier, including via a mobile phone handset, in order to ensure maximum usage by business owners. Anybody can do this, whether I'm a final consumer or someone who's going to claim uh, VAT funds, so that I'm sure that whatever I'm getting here is with you again. Raina Ojun, NTV Business.